the program that the students will do is the BSc in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. This is a program that is approximately four years in length, uh, consisting of about 140 credit hours. The students will, of course, cover the fundamentals of science and maths. Then subsequently, they will go on to do topics that have to do with electrical engineering and electronic engineering. For those, effectively, we look at three fronts. They will cover the digital electronics, they will do analog electronics, as well as power systems oriented uh, topics. On the digital electronics side, for example, they will end up doing things that have to do with designing circuits and systems that will make boards like this function. The students will also learn about processors. The processors are the ones that are driving effectively all the smart systems that we have around us. On the power system side, the students will learn about energy, power system generation, and the distributions aspect of it, which are of course of importance for any aspects that have to do with energy and its distribution. Students who would best succeed with this program, the BSc in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, are those who like mathematics and physics. The reason being is that the whole concept of electrical systems of which the electronics is derived come from the field of physics. Now, we would then need the mathematics to be able to design these systems and to relate their inputs and outputs. Such students can work in a multitude of disciplines and multitude of industries. For example, they can work in the oil in the in the in the petroleum industry. They can work on controlling systems. They can control in any systems that require sensors. They can control they can work for example also in the renewable energy field. This is a field that is right now thriving extremely highly and students with a, with a bachelor degree in electrical and electronic engineering will find a lot of opportunities in such a field.